This podcast has been brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the global Islamic seminary. Help us spread the light of prophetic guidance to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Make a small donation at seekersguidance.org forward slash donate. For as little as $10 a month, you can help people find life-changing guidance. So the first one is regarding scientific evidence for the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the question is, Assalamu alaikum. I have a friend who believes that there is no scientific evidence for the existence of Allah, but he believes that there are other evidences for the existence of Allah, such as, subhanahu wa ta'ala, such as uh, the historical accuracy of the Holy Quran, the, the future predictions, superior use of Arabic, and that the Quran does not have any contradictions in it. So is this kufr if he says that there's no scientific evidence of God but other forms of evidence are present, I have, as I have stated. By the way, he is a strong believer. So, Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Rasulullah. Uh, no, this is not kufr, right? The Quran uh, establishes its truth through many, uh, many ways. Um, the primary miracle is the linguistic miracle. Yeah? And, you know, there are many challenges in the Quran. First, it was produced um, a Qur'an like this, entire Qur'an. And then it was uh, lessened, you know, produced 10 chapters, then one chapter like it. And then finally in Surah Al-Baqarah, the challenge was um, presented as bring one chapter that's similar to the style of the Qur'an, not even exactly like it, but you know, uh, this they, they couldn't do it. So that's one aspect. Um, the other matters mentioned are also, you know, there are proofs, uh, there are proofs in the uh, legislation of the Quran, and there are proofs in in the promises uh, of the Quran. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, "Inna fatahna laka fatahn mubina," that we've given you a clear victory um, on the Treaty of Hudaybiyah. The Dad Khulun al Masjid al Harama, insha Allah, Aminin. And it was the end of the surah. You will certainly enter al- al- the sacred mosque, God willing. You know, safe, and they did, right? Uh, not long after, um, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala once uh, at a point when the Romans were defeated by the Persians, He said they would they would defeat the Persians uh, in a few years, and they did. And this is at a time where you know everyone was thinking that the Romans can't make a comeback. Um, so there are there are many aspects. The scientific miracles. This is, um, and I don't really like this term. And there's there's been a lot of issues around this term. Many people have pushed this aspect of uh, the the Quran uh, and its uh, its miracles. And sometimes they've they've done it. Unfortunately, it's not. They they've tried to make miracles where, where you know they don't exist. So I mean, I, I saw a video once of uh, someone speaking and saying, you know, and the Quran says that. The Prophet وسلم, he went into a black hole and went beyond our universe or something like this. And they quoted verses from Surah Al-Najm. And, well, it was basically a, um, a, 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 dodgy, a dodgy translation of Surah Al-Najm. And then that was stretched as well just to accommodate this kind of theory. And it's not the case, right? And that's far from what the ayat are saying. And, you know, so... I mean, I'm not too keen on this term scientific miracles. We've talked about this uh, at length in, in our course from revelation to preservation. And so the other observed miracles, are there things that the Quran um, um, tells us and through scientific um, endeavor, through observation, can you arrive at them? Yes. You know, وَجَعَلْنَا الْجِبَادَ أَوْتَادَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, we made the mountains as pegs. And what does a peg do? It's like a nail that you hammer into the ground to keep a tent firm or to keep a carpet in place. And the mountains, it's like an iceberg. You know, you only see the tip of the iceberg, the what's below the water, uh, the surface of the water is, you know, far greater than what actually shows on the top. And that's the same with mountains. Mountains generally occur in ranges. It's not just a solitary mountain. There's many with them. And what's beneath the ground is, you know, there's a lot more than what is above ground. So, uh, this was something that, you know, people denied for centuries. And, you know, the people that were uh, 
uh, Imam Alusi says that, you know, the scientists of his age, they were like, how can something be on top of another thing? And yet, you know, uh, be keeping it um, like this. So, you know, but we know in our times, you know, ge you know through geology, we, we, they've established this. And there are, there are other aspects. So if someone was to say, well, there's nothing like this, as long as they're not denying one of the madludat of the Qur'an, that's one of the direct uh, statements of the Qur'an, <coughs> um, this is not kufr. If someone is saying, the Qur'an is saying this, and I don't believe you, or it's not true, that is that is a problem. Um, that would be disbelief. But, um, uh, and, and there are some things that are open to, you know, some interpretation. So... As long as it's not something absolutely clear, um, it's it's not good for at all. Um, uh, so so yeah, but there are many aspects of the miracle of the Quran. So that's the short answer for that. Allah Taala Alam. Thank you for listening. This podcast was brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the global Islamic seminary. Visit SeekersGuidance.org to access reliable Islamic knowledge taught by qualified teachers. We offer a wide range of courses, podcasts, articles, and a world-class answer service. Support us in spreading free, reliable Islamic knowledge to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Visit seekersguidance.org forward slash donate and make a small monthly commitment today. Our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Whoever guides someone to goodness will have a similar reward. So don't forget to share this podcast and spread prophetic guidance.